Hey, Judd Welty here. Hey, I told you I'd make you a video of the foods I buy and the things that I'm doing to prep for myself. Um, there's a million ways to do this, and this is just what I do with the foods that I like to eat and to stay prepped. So, uh, you know, I, I always get a ton of uh, the 99% lean uh, ground turkey. I love that stuff. Um, of course, I get, you know, pounds and pounds of chicken, uh, you know, steak, and, uh, you know, uh, ground beef. So, um, I've got a couple big old things of asparagus, fresh asparagus, and then I buy the, I buy the green beans. I can just poke the holes in the bag, throw the microwave, and, you know, after three minutes, they're ready to rock. Now, there's a bunch of ways to do that, right? So, um, whatever you have available, you know, if, you know, just, just like the eggs, you know, I get, I get these eggs here. I get them at the grocery store. Of course, the more fresh you get, the better. I like to cook my meats and I, I do it two ways. And I, I either spray it, spray the pan, or I cook it in, in coconut oil. If I'm out of coconut oil, I always got, I always got a backup so I don't have to use butter. Um, and this is how I do it, or I'll, bar I'll barbecue the meats. But the majority of the time, I'm cooking on a pan. Salt on anything, it's always Himalayan salt, pink salt as it's known. Um, you can get it at Trader Joe's, most, most uh, health, health food stores. Other than that, when I'm, when I'm cooking my chicken, my fish, my steak, my, my turkey, whatever it may be, you know, I like my uh, sriracha sauce, my salsa, um, and just about any kind of hot sauce. You know, gringo, bandito, uh, tapatio, any of those. I use those on all my meats after I cook them, and I just dip them in that. That's just what I like to do. Um, and then if I'm cooking my meats on the, on, the, on, the, on the stove like I am right now, I like to chop them into, into, into thin pieces. trying to get enough water in like I'm always trying to be on point with my water um, I like to uh, you can go to the Dollar Tree you can go to Target or Walmart and get like a half gallon jug and throw it in the fridge ice red potatoes you know still cut oats for oatmeal um, I like sweet potatoes I find that cooking my chicken this way on the pan makes it last a little bit longer makes it a uh, keep up you know it doesn't dry out as fast as like barbecuing. So I typically cook my meats on my pan like this more than anything. So they stay a little more fresh. I just find that when I barbecue my steaks all the time or my chicken or my turkey or whatever, I, my fish, it just kind of dries out a little bit more when I barbecue it. So I'm not cooking anything special. I'm not cooking it any special way. Um, I'm just not putting a bunch of a bunch of seasonings or a bunch of marinades. Uh, I'm cooking it in its in its regular form, you know, without soaking it in anything. And if I'm if I'm using anything, I'm using coconut oil or like a spray pan uh, for the pans, or else I'm barbecuing. So just like you would cook your normal foods, the only thing I'm doing different is I like to weigh my stuff out. So if I'm weighing my meats, I'm gonna weigh them after I cook them. And so, depending on how much, uh, how much protein you need per meal, um, you know, five, six, seven, eight ounces, whatever it may be, I weigh it out, and then I have all my Tupperware, I put it in. You know, if you like to be organized, if you like to keep things simple, then that's the way to do it. If you want to, you know, if, if you're guessing on your nutrition right now, then uh, this will take the guesswork out of it. So, if you need help with that, message me and we'll figure out a plan for you and get you on the right track. There's a million ways to do this, but if you do it the simple way, you'll stick to it and then you'll get results. It's just kind of a repetitive process. What you're, if what you're doing right now is not working, then you need to change something obviously. So I was there at one point also. I'm not trying to be Mr. Olympia or some big bodybuilder. I'm just trying to be a healthy, fit dad and keep it simple. So there you go.